Two often confused terms are mass and weight. What do they mean? How are they different than one another? And how are they related? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. Mass is the amount of stuff, or more precisely, matter present in an object. Matter consists of atoms. Atoms are what give objects their mass. So the mass of an object depends on the number of atoms and the type of atoms that are in it. The standard metric unit of mass is the kilogram, abbreviated kg. You can feel how much mass an object has by lifting it, but you can also feel how much mass an object has by shaking it or giving it a horizontal push. The more mass an object has, the more resistance it offers to the shaking or the pushing. Weight is different. Weight is the force of gravity that acts on an object. Being a force, it's expressed in units of force like the Newton, abbreviated N, or the non-metric unit, pound. You can determine an object's weight by weighing it. That is, you put the object on a scale. Gravity pulls it down. The scale pushes it back up. The scale reads the up force. Since it balances the force of gravity, you know the scale tells you the weight of the object. Now be careful with this. Mass, the amount of stuff in an object, does not depend upon location. If you were to take all your stuff to the moon, it'd be the same amount of stuff. Assuming you got it all there, your mass would be the same. But weight, the force of gravity acting on the object, does depend upon location. On the moon, you would weigh less than on Earth. That's because how much you weigh depends upon the gravitational environment. Gravity forces on the moon are one-sixth of the Earth. So a 90 kilogram person would weigh about 900 newtons on the Earth, but on the moon, the same 90 kilogram person would weigh 150 newtons. Weight depends on location, but mass does not. More massive objects weigh more than less massive objects. Obviously, there's a connection between mass and weight, and here it is. The weight, or force of gravity, acting on an object is equal to the object's mass multiplied by g. g is known as the gravitational field constant. On Earth, it's 9.8 newtons per kilogram. On the Moon, it's about 1.7 newton per kilogram, and on Mars, it's about 3.8 newtons per kilogram. The value of g depends on the gravitational environment of the location where the object is at. Because g depends on location, the force of gravity or weight also depends on location. The real constant in the equation could be thought of as mass. Mass does not depend on location, but is only dependent on the amount of stuff in the object. The weight of an object can be calculated from the mass using this equation. As mentioned earlier, the weight of a 90 kilogram person on Earth is about 900 newtons, to be exact, 882 newtons. On the Moon, where the value of g is 1.7 n per kg, the weight is approximately 150 newtons. The difference in weight between Earth and Moon is due to the value of g, not due to the mass. Let's try this calculation. What mass does an object need to weigh 900 newtons on Mars, where the value of g is 3.8 newtons per kilogram? First, we must perform some algebra on our equation. There we go. Now, by substitution, we can calculate the mass to be 240 kilograms. The equation f grab equal mg can cause trouble if you're not careful. Avoid referring to g as gravity, and avoid referring to f grab as gravity. The moment you do, you introduce confusion that doesn't need to be there. F grab is the force of gravity. G is the gravitational field strength. If you keep the language straight, you'll keep the concept straight in your brain. When learning a physics concept, it's important to do something to make the learning stick. To help, we have some pretty awesome interactive exercises on our website. You'll see links to them in the description section. Why don't you try one, just to be certain that you got this. I'm Mr. H, and thanks for watching.